I believe in God and the right to worship according to my own faith and religion. I believe in America and the American way of life. In the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. I believe in fair play, honesty, and sportsmanship. I believe in my Boys and Girls Club. Which stands for these things. Hi, my name is Mr. Mark. I'm with the Boys and Girls Club in Citrus County. Hi, I'm Ms. Kaden with the Robert Cunningham Club. And I'm Ms. Young, also with the Robert Cunningham Club. And today we're actually going to be doing some yoga with Mr. Mark. Um, I actually have Ms. Danielle and Ms. Katie that are going to be assisting me today. Um, now this is a really cool game that you can play at home. Um, it doesn't require much. If you don't have a yoga mat, that's fine too as well. But what you will need for this activity is uh, a die. Or if you don't have a phone die like we do, um, we also have, you can also use kind of like a small die. Or if you can have a paper, kind of write down six poses to where you can use a water bottle. And kind of like spin, spin the water bottle to where you can kind of um, go into the pose. Um, it's a really cool activity. Um, really fun as well too, so we're actually going to demonstrate it right now. Um, Ms. Katie, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Now we have our chart here, and we're going to have Ms. Danielle help us out with um, rolling the die as well too. Now, um, what you want to do first before you do any yoga poses is we have to stretch. All right, so Ms. Katie is going to um, help us assist with stretching out before we even do any type of yoga poses. Breathe in, 
and breathe out. One more time, breathe in, and breathe out. All right. So this thing, I'm gonna roll that down again. All right, that landed on number six. So what we're gonna do is our tree pose. Our tree pose is um, very easy, it's very difficult to breathe. Um, you actually have to stand on one foot. So what we're gonna do is let's use our left leg and we're actually gonna put, we're gonna kind of place our left leg on our right leg to kind of keep that position there so we're not tripping over or kind of tipping over so. And then we're gonna put our hands over our head. It's kind of like that warrior pose number one. And this time we're just gonna keep our balance with our legs. So we're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. All right, let's roll that one more time. All right, so that's actually our Cobra, that's number five. So our, our Cobra um, is actually, we're actually gonna be on our mats. Like I said, if you don't have a mat at home, that's fine. As long as you do somewhere, either in your room, on the floor, as long as you're indoors, that's all that matters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna um, place our knees down. We're gonna put our hands in front of us. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we are tippy toe on our back. So what we're gonna do is once when we're kind of in that planking position, we're gonna move and we're gonna shift our body forward. We're gonna kind of lay down on the floor kind of. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of lift your body forward and you're gonna hold that pose for six seconds again. We're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. All right. All right, we're gonna do our next pose here. Let's take a roll that guy. All right, this is our next pose. Um, well, this is actually called our planking pose. That's number two. So um, I, I know a lot of people know that planking position. It's kind of hard to kind of hold that position. So we'll only do six seconds once again. Um, so we're gonna go right back onto the floor, our mats. Um, we're gonna we're gonna kind of do that cobra position as well too. Like I said, um, but make sure what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of fold that planking position. You can also, if you like, you can kind of bend your arms, but if anything, you can kind of keep your arms straight forward and just make sure your belly is not touching that floor. So we're gonna hold this pose for six seconds and we're gonna breathe in one more time. And breathe out. You're gonna feel it right in your abdomen. We're gonna breathe in one more time. And breathe out. One last time. And breathe out. All right. So, hi. <laughs> oh, so that was our that was actually a game. Like I said, it's a very easy game that you can do indoors. Um, you don't need a mat as long as you're on your on the floor on a clean surface. Either, even on your rug, you can have an area rug as well too. Um, it's a cool activity. Like I said, you don't need to die. Um, you can use anything that you have at home. And it's really fun to do. You can actually have a partner like I have Miss Katie today as well as my partner. So make sure you have a partner, partner with you or you can do it by yourself. Just as long as you're kind of moving your body around, getting physical, even when we're indoors. So thank you guys so much. And we do miss you guys. We'll make sure we see you guys soon, okay? Bye.